Hi, I'm Dan Smith, and I'm going to teach you how to get started playing with this, with slide guitar. And uh, if you've never played slide before, a couple things to know. There are different kinds of slides. There are glass slides. There are metal slides. Um, I like glass slides better, but some people will play actually with a special kind of ring on their finger. Those are, those are out there. Those are easily, you could Google that and find that. Some people like that. Um, there's many different methods, and there's different thicknesses of slides, too. This is a relatively thin slide. Um, some of them get much thicker. Um, they definitely get thinner than this, but this is the thickness that I like. Then the other question you got to ask yourself is, what finger do you want to put it on? Some people prefer it on their pinky so that they can have these fingers free to, you know, play chords and then, uh, you know, throw in some slide with their pinky. I tend to prefer my ring finger. But there are some people who prefer their index finger. It just depends on what you want to do. But um, there's also this whole world of open tuning or alternate tuning when it comes to playing slide. And I'm going to show you how to get started without that. But then we're also going to have a section in this video where you learn how to do open A tuning, which is probably the easiest open tuning or what's sometimes called alternate tuning uh, to get started with. And what you'll find is that when you play with open tuning, it changes the whole kind of lay of the land, obviously, for your neck, but it gives you some really cool sounds that are particularly conducive to playing slide. But to get started, first thing you need to know is that when you uh, play slide, you're not really holding the strings down. You're just kind of letting the slide ride across the strings. right? You're exerting a little bit of pressure, but not too much, right? Because if you try to hold the strings down, that's not really what the slide is meant for. You want like a very, it's pretty, you know, smooth slide kind of sound. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is that when you, normally when you play a note, right, like the first string on the fifth fret here, you put your finger in between the frets. When you play a slide, if you put, if you put it in between the frets, you get a flat note like that. So what do you do? You put your slide, you slide over to the front bar of the fret. So if I want this note on the fifth fret, I actually have to put my slide here on the front bar of the fret. Not there. There. So one of the things you can do to get started playing slide is just think in terms of little pieces of chords. So if you think about like um, what I call an E-shaped bar chord, right? If you're not familiar with bar chords, by the way, you should check out my video about bar chords. Um, but uh, assuming you know your way around some basic E and A-shaped bar chords, as I like to call them, you could start by just playing an, the top two strings of an A chord. And let's say you're doing a blues progression in the key of A, which would be made up of A, D, and E, right? So you could play that while someone else is playing, or rather, like an A blues shuffle. You could play, right? And you'll notice I'm sliding up on the second string and then playing the first string. Not the only way to do it, but you could play two strings at once like that. But then let's say you go to a chord change. You go from A to D. So then you could slide up to the 10th fret, which is where you would find a bar chord for a D, right? And you're just playing the top two strings here, right? And then eventually, you get the idea probably, you go from D, you go up to E on the 12th fret, then to D, and then down to A. So that's one way to get started. But if you want just like a classic blues riff, um, you know, something that you might hear in like a Muddy Waters song or something like that, sometimes referred to as the Manish Boy riff, that I'm playing on the fourth and third and second strings. So what am I playing? I'm starting by playing just those three strings open, then I slide up to the fifth fret, and then I slide down. Actually, I slide up, sorry, to the third fret, and then I play them open again. And then you can just kind of vamp on those three strings. That's a really great way to get started 
just getting a feel for what it's like. To feel the slide across the strings, and it's, you know, it sounds like something. It sounds like a, a blues riff, because that's what it is. If you want to add to that, you can do this. So all I'm doing is I'm playing the same three strings up on the 12th fret. So now you've got like a call and response kind of thing happening, right? All I did there, by the way, is I just walked up one fret at a time from the 10th to the 11th to the 12th. You always want to punctuate it with that riff, which, by the way, you could reverse those two frets, and instead of doing five, open five, three, open, you could do open three, five, open, right? A little variation there. So that is a way to get started. Now, if you're familiar with how to play lead with pentatonic scales, you could start to experiment with that, too, where you can... Um, You know, you, you need to keep it real simple and just, I just did something way too complicated there, but you can start to explore the pentatonic scales. Now, if you're not familiar with how to play pentatonic scales, you should check out my video about how to get started with the pentatonic scale. Um, but let's talk about open A tuning. The easiest way to understand open A tuning is to look at an A chord like this, right? I play A with my just my index finger. I know some of you out there probably play it with three fingers like that. But um, what you're doing is you're holding down the fourth, third, and second strings, obviously, on the second fret, and raising those notes, the equivalent of two frets. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to tune these strings so they sound like they're being played on the second fret. So we're going to raise each of them um, from a D to an E, from a G to an A, and from a B to a C sharp. So you can use a tuner. I have an electronic tuner right here. You can do it like that, or you can just listen for it. Or you could do both, like this. So I'm raising my D to an E. Here's the thing about changing your tuning. Even if a string doesn't have to change, you still want to check the tuning on it because when you start changing other strings around, it affects the whole guitar. So sometimes strings that you don't even touch will go out of tune because you're tuning other strings. That's an E. Now I want my G string to go up to an A. I went a little too far. <laughs> Now I want my B string to go up to a C sharp minor, or a C sharp. <laughs> if you play enough A chords, you're going to start to hear it. It'll sound right. And then you want to check your high E string. Mine has stayed pretty much in place, but sometimes when you change your tuning around, especially if you're raising strings like I'm doing, your other strings very well might go out of tune. Okay, but now I've got my guitar tuned to an open A chord. So now, when you play slide, it changes everything. I'm doing the same riff I did before, but now I can play more strings. I can play this as a total chord. So a lot of what I'm doing when I'm doing these kind of fills up here is I'm just finding different ways to land on the 12th fret, right? I went up to the 15th. 
10 to the 12th, or I walked up from the 10th, 11th to the 12th, like I did before. So that's open A tuning and slide. If you want a video of, of a song to try this all out with, you should check out my video about Can't Be Satisfied, great old Muddy Waters song that's done with all slide and open A tuning. Um, but mostly this is a way to just kind of give yourself a different sound. Give yourself a different kind of flavor than you would get from, say, standard tuning. But uh, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, put them in the comments, and I will do my best to answer them. But enjoy playing slide. It's a really fun, uh, new, probably for many of you, a fresh perspective on playing guitar. And if you ever hurt your fingers, right, if you damage your fingers, or you break your finger or something, you can always play slide. You don't have to exert a lot of pressure. And all you need is one finger. So let's say you break your other three fingers, which I hope never happens. But let's say that happens, you can still play guitar. So I'm Dan Smith, and uh, I hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you next time.